Here's a look at what's happening today. We have some new developments into the investigation into the deadly dive boat fire in Southern California. Divers recovered the remains of the last victim yesterday. And today, the NTSB said that all six crew members were asleep when the fire started on that boat. One person is supposed to be on watch at all times. And the Coast Guard also released new safety recommendations in the aftermath, like limiting the amount of time something is charging unsupervised. The FBI, the Coast Guard, also the U.S. Attorney's office in Los Angeles are working on a criminal investigation of this deadly accident. And the Walker fire over by Plumas National Forest is officially the largest wildfire in California right now. This is burning nearly 50,000 acres and is 28% contained, and it doesn't look like they're out of the woods just yet. A fire weather watch is supposed to go into effect starting on Sunday because they're expecting high winds and low humidity, which can cause the fire to grow. And Governor Newsom signed SB 230 into law today. This law will finance new training and require police departments to update their policies on use of force to comply with AB 392, which was signed into law last month. SB 230 is the companion bill to AB 392, which regulates when police can use deadly force. Now that Governor Newsom signed both those bills, departments will have to change their training guidelines to add more emphasis on de-escalation strategies. Now to check your weather, he's meteorologist Monica Woods. Okay, and we continue on that warming trend today, warmer than yesterday by a about three to five degrees throughout the valley, 12 degrees warmer in San Francisco. We're picking up a completely different weather pattern. High pressure continues to dominate the forecast. A couple of lows to the north of us just can't break through this. What that means is that we get the sinking warming air directly over us, highs near 100 for about two days. But then big changes. I mean, we are all over the map here on the 10 day planner. Check this out. We've got mostly sunny skies, highs near 100 Friday and Saturday. It is such a quick change then. Sunday dropping into the 80s, Monday slight chance of showers. We're at that turning point in the year that we start to see just a slight chance of those showers coming through. So we'll be watching that. We're right back to the mild weather then as we head into the next work week. Now you're all caught up on what's happening today.